Oh, what up, everybody? I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. Virgo, we're going to tap into a message of who's thinking of you the most and what do they want to tell you? I've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I'd like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, being here on my channel, giving me love, supporting me every day, and coming back to watch these videos. I love you, baby. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Who's thinking of you the most? Who do y'all think it is? <laughs> Let's see here. Who is thinking of Virgo the most? Who's in Virgo's energy? Thinking of Virgo the most. Mystic reveals an intimate union with the divine. All right. Um, so somebody who's also spiritual here. Okay. Um, I feel like this person may be a little mysterious. All right. It's giving, uh, I just heard mysterious. It's giving somebody who doesn't really talk a lot. Okay. Um, they, when they do, they talk about a subject and it's not, they don't go into depth here. Uh, they're real mysterious. They don't say a lot here. And if they do, it's about a topic that doesn't really mean anything. Right. Um, I feel like this is somebody who's very closed off. Um, somebody who likes to keep the mysteriousness about them like they won't reveal things about themselves here and the cloak could be significant this could be somebody who uh likes to cover up or is always covered up wears baggy clothes here um or shawls i just heard shaman okay they could work to wear big dresses or shawls who is the person thinking of virgo the most Okay, we have the servant in the reverse. And it says, using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with a life. Hmm. Somebody is lacking here, Virgo. They may not have the money to do something right now. Um, using the lack of money as an excuse to not move forward. This person may not have their funds in the correct place. They may be in some type of lack here, Virgo. They may give their money to other people or be codependent on other people around them. It's giving big codependent energy. I'm not going to lie. Um, somebody who needs someone to serve them instead of being somebody who serves. The, this is a person who needs someone to serve them, to give to them. Hmm. I feel like this is also somebody who is living beyond their means here. Again, with the big dresses, the baggy clothes, the shawls. Okay. Um, who is the person thinking of Virgo the most? The monk. Selfless in devotion, single-minded, dedicated to spirit none energy okay this is somebody who is very dedicated to something or someone this could be spirit all right but i also heard that they're just like they they get really single-minded all right this is somebody who likes to devote themselves to something here and like stick to it i feel like this is a fixed sign yeah fixed energy somebody who would be so fixed they would do something like nunnery um or or buddhism or something extreme that other people may see as extreme but to this person they're just that dedicated okay so this could be a very religious person or this person is coming into religious um energy because they are in this lack i'm also getting somebody who is like trying to dedicate themselves to spirit and be single-minded and devoted to that because they feel like it will bring them out of lack here. All right. So if this is somebody you knew that wasn't spiritual previously and now they're like real into spirituality. Now they're like real religious all of a sudden here. I feel like this is somebody who is trying to turn around their life here. Uh, I, I'm getting big turnaround energy. This was not someone who was always like that. And again, with the baggy Shaw okay baggy outfit um fully dressed this person may wear layers okay always in a layer a layer or two um this person may all also have a bald head monk energy here or cover their head often some type of garment here all right <clears throat> 
I sent energy. What is this, how does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo currently? Okay, so we have married, hubby, long-term, bae, wifey, energy. All right, so this person is either looking at you like bae, wifey, they want something long-term with you, or they feel connected to you in some type of way. If this is not marriage energy, this person is dedicated to you in some type of way. It's like they feel like you two are connected, okay? Um, or they want to be have a long-term commitment with you. What does this person want to tell Virgo? We have incoming message in the reverse. Virgo, they want to send you a message, but they can't. Okay. Um, I also heard, uh, is it the monks that don't talk? I feel like there's some religion, some extreme re religion here where somebody is like, they don't speak anymore. Um, they devote, they take a devotion to silence um, themselves here. Or they have been silenced by you, Virgo. You may have blocked this person. All right, you're not allowing messages in. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this person wants to send you a message where they can't, period. What's the overall energy between Virgo and this person? Okay. This person could only uh, be able to message you through like apps or like the mail here. Something over your phone here that's an app. It's not really like um, your phone number or something. I'm getting like, uh, this may be somebody who like creates different profiles to hit you up. I'm not going to lie. Um... Yeah. Someone could also have like a real outdated phone. <laughs> um, what was the question? Ooh -wee. Uh, what's the current energy between this person and Virgo? Current energy between this person and Virgo. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, so there's a mirror here. Um, karmic at the bottom. Wow. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. This person doesn't know if you're a divine masculine or a or divine masculine, divine feminine, or if you're a karmic. They don't know if you're a big old lesson in their lives or they don't know if you're a blessing, Virgo. They don't know whether to come towards you because I feel like there's something about their security. There's something about their money that's going or weird. I just heard their money funny. Um, third party energy, broken hearted. This person could be a little sad right now. Cancer Virgo energy. Clear the air. They want to clear the air about something. They want to communicate with you about something, but they don't know if something is in the way. Okay, they feel attacks. This person could feel like there's some type of spiritual warfare going on that's making this um, come to an end or this bringing a stop to this. They got love here for you, Virgo. They definitely want to shoot their shot here because I feel like there's something about you that's a blessing to them. There was a new start here. There was something new. There was a new life here that is a blessing to them, and they don't want this to end. Right? And there goes that divine union again. All right, let's see about this energy, Virgo. This was not what I was expecting. Okay? Um, at all. Uh, what does this person want to tell Virgo? What is the main overall energy of what this person wants to tell Virgo? Oh, the star card. All right, big star energy. Um, Virgo, this is a good omen. I feel like this person wants to still have faith and hoping that they can renew things with you. Again, that's falling under the bay wifey energy here. So I do feel like 
somebody secretly may uh want to have something deeper with you okay <laughs> they still may be hoping for something deeper or this is just somebody who's trying to heal a connection that they have with you so if you guys separated like wife or if y'all are dating at some time if you were their bae at some time um and y'all separated i feel like this person wants to renew it even if y'all can't be hubby and wife right even if y'all can't be bae and i love you energy again there's just something about this person wanting to have another chance here with the star card here they definitely uh see you as somebody worth it here virgo and a good omen again what does what does this person want to tell virgo three of swords yeah they're heartbroken they're sad right now they don't like the conflict somebody does not like the conflict at all um they don't like the breakout they don't like what happened here like i said there was a separation here um and this person is like they're not taking it well but they still have hope the two of cups y'all they definitely still have hope here that you can have a partnership all right that y'all could be together um or that y'all could just like have some type of mutual respect here i'm getting this person could also still be attracted to you you could be also still attracted to this person for a girl. okay um oh, what's this energy for their overall message for virgo the nine of wands in the reverse here yeah somebody's exhausted though virgo they're exhausted they don't like the struggle they feel like you're not compromising with them there's a huge lack of trust between you two here um, they don't even know why. I feel like this person, this is, like I said, single-minded energy. This is somebody who, like, makes up their mind and doesn't like to see, like, other people's view of things. You ever try to explain to somebody uh, how they're wrong in a situation? And they're like, I, I don't know why you're mad at me. And you're trying to explain it, and they just can't grasp your, uh, your opinion of something. I feel like it's because this person is very single-minded, very fixed-minded, and what they think i feel like they think that they're a good person virgo they're like i'm an overall good person virgo like how could you see this energy about me how, how could you think this way about me virgo how can you not trust me virgo mm. all right i'm not saying that you do this or you're not trustworthy or you don't trust this person i'm not saying this is happening i'm just saying what this person wants you wants you to know that they're exhausted they're tired of the lack of trust all right they're tired of the the struggle they're 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 exhausted here they ain't got the money to be going back and forth with you but here they are coming back and forth with you virgo they're making it happen here um what is this person ten of wands in the reverse yeah they feel like they're carrying everything here okay and trying to delegate things they're trying to release this burden that is between you two but they feel like they're the only ones that's trying to fix things they're the only ones that's trying to make it right virgo you yeah yeah message in the reverse you may have shut down on this person for real for real that's that's virgo energy okay you bring negativity to virgo and they go shut you down i'm hearing don't nobody bring me no bad news okay <laughs> i feel like this person came towards you with some bad news virgo and they're wondering why you don't want to talk to them okay that's the type of energy here but they feel like they're doing everything that they can or they're the only ones who's trying to fix things with you three of wands yeah you may have turned your back two of coins so it made a hard decision on uh, meeting up with this person but it'd be their wish fulfillment to come towards you at any time here i just heard any time any place because yeah they, they feel like there's unfinished business here nine of wands this person would take action if you told them to period if they could page of cups they would even apologize virgo and come right back eight of cups mm. that's what they want to tell you they still view you as some type of partner here all right, tell me about this action. Uh, what do they want to do to Virgo here with the incoming message in the reverse? What do they want to do to Virgo? Oh, y'all, I just instantly got some... <laughs> I just instantly got some sexual energy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't know if my it's my ancestors, my guys being funny here, but I heard in the box, okay? <laughs> 
uh, with the inbox in the box, okay? Um, I'm just gonna leave it out there. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it out there. Uh, what does this person want to do to Virgo here with the message in the reverse? We have the Four of Wands, the Six of Coins, and the Justice card. Okay, so with the Four of Wands energy, I feel like they want to commune with you, period. Um, they want to come to your house. Um, if this is somebody who regularly visits your house here. I feel like they want to come in. They want to add support. They want to gather. They want to celebrate with you. This is somebody who directly wants to be in your energy with the Six of Coins. They want to give to you. Okay, they want to equal give and take or they want to give in exchange. Okay, because the Six of Pentacles talks about um, giving a little and holding a little back for themselves here. So I feel like they can't give you everything that they have, but they can give you a little here. Um, and again, I feel like they want um, to give to you, but they also need you to give back to them here is the energy, Virgo. And that's really illuminated here by the Justice card. Um, talking about balance, fairness here. Talking about... Um, rewards or what's fair here Virgo I feel like they don't even I feel like since they can't offer you a lot they want to um do what's fair they're willing to do what's fair now here okay so you this person uh could have been somebody the hang dragon yeah they're seeing something clearly now this good person could have been somebody who asked too much of you in the past here and now they're realizing that they need to give an equal give and take to make this fair to um do something here or allow you to give a little and they give more or there's something about balancing the scales of giving and taking here We are the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Seven of Cups. So we're going with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person definitely wants a, a new opportunity to have some abundance with you. All right. Um, I also feel like this person wants to pro prosper here. But with this energy, I feel like they want to give something to you. Seven of Cups. I feel like if they did have um, a large sum of money, they would want to give it to you in different ways here. With the Seven of Cups, there's like multiple choices here. Or they're they daydreaming over having another chance with you. There's something about this person's energy. Tell me about the Ace of Coins here. Make it make sense to your spirit. High Priestess here. You're silent. What's the Ace of Coins? Temperance. Okay. So, balance again. Three cards of balance here. I feel like this person wants to make things fair to you. I feel like they want to give to you, okay? They wish they could give you like a large sum. They wish they could give you something here, take you out, do something extravagant here, or like have multiple choices to give more to you. Temperance, but this is gonna take time. I feel like this person needs needs time to get into this energy, Virgo. So if there was something about giving and taking here, if you felt like they should have been giving more to you or like support here they should be giving you money there's something here about this person feeling like they should um i just heard i should have brought you flowers when i had the chance all right they, they feel like they should um be providing something here for you in multiple different ways but it could be taking time for them to do that virgo they want you to be patient with them hmm this is seven of cups The two of Wands in the reverse. So with the Two of Wands, with the Two of Wands in the reverse, Virgo, they could feel like they failed. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to give to you something here, but there is some type of illusion of failure. Like they couldn't give to you a large sum of money. They couldn't give to you everything that you needed or wanted here but in time that they can huh 
or this person may have been somebody who promised grandiose things all right they could have been somebody who was like i can i will support i will give i'll do everything that you need here virgo but with the seven of cups this could have uh came off as an illusion to you because they failed at doing this virgo but if you give them time with the temperance they will live up to their word here somebody wants to tell you like I may not be able to give it to you all right now. I may have made or sold a little pipe dream here. Talk to my energy up a little here, Virgo. But if you give me time, I'll, I can give you this equal give and take. Or hopefully we can get to this equal give and take in the future. Where it's fair, where it's balanced here. But they that's the thing. If they came in telling you this and then they weren't able to immediately provide that... It seems like a lie to a Virgo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That seems like I couldn't trust you. Um, anybody who says that they're going to be supportive, loving, um, that they're here, that they're going to do whatever, and then they can't, and then they give, like, the bare minimum, and then they give you, like, one or two things, and you spent, like, hundreds, or you put more energy into something than they have given you. Um... It makes me want to pull back my energy as well. So, okay. Um, what was this last one? The energy between you two, divine masculine and divine feminine. Tell me about the energy between Virgo and this person. The queen of wands. <laughs> okay, so you're real independent here, Virgo. And again, the energy between you two. Somebody sees you as uh, very attractive. Um very passionate, very confident in what you're doing and how the, the actions you take. Okay, so you're, you stand on the shit that you say here, Virgo. Um, and I feel like the energy between you two is you being independent and somebody watching you in this energy. Energy between Virgo and this person. The Queen of Coins in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so I'm not saying that this is true about you, Virgo, but somebody thinks that you're self-centered. <laughs> All right, they feel like you're you're mean, self-centered. You may be controlling here, Virgo. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Uh, they may be feeling like you are the burden here. Or you're causing the burden because you want to be only care about yourself or be independent. Somebody thinks you're overly independent, only want to take care of yourself, give to yourself. Um, you could be feeling they could be feeling like you're a little selfish here and that you're causing the burden between the two of you. OK, this is how they feel. The energy between them, this person in Virgo. Eight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you both want to release this here with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you both are taking an active role with your thoughts. Okay. Okay. I feel like you both are taking an active role here with your thoughts. So uh, a good way of saying that is you both have uh, an opinion. Uh-oh. You both have an opinion about what's happening um, <laughs> between you two. And those two opinions differ from each other, right? They, they can be more different from each other here, Virgo. Um, but I do feel like you both, the energy between you two is that you want to release this. You want to let go of the negativity. All right. The emperor. Yeah, you both want control. I feel like you both want to um, create that structure. That's what I was getting with the overly independent energy. Okay, somebody could be feeling like uh, you're playing a very masculine role right now, Virgo. You're coming off as very masculine. <laughs> uh, don't men love to say that? I hate a masculine woman. Why can't Virgo be more feminine? Um, hint, to, hint to all these guys out here talking about masculine women. Let me just say this. If you ever find a woman being very masculine to you, it's because you put her in a place where she felt like she needed to protect herself, okay? Or protect what she has or feel unsafe or 
feel like you're trying to take advantage of them. Somebody is only in masculine energy when they feel like they need to take charge, when they feel like they need to protect, when they feel like they need to um, gain control over a situation. Uh, feminines aren't usually in this masculine energy unless they have to do it all alone, unless they're the mother and the father, unless they feel like they're not getting any help here. So word to your moms, um, shout out to your dads. Um, don't ever talk down about a masculine woman here because we all have masculine and feminine energy. And I feel like some of us just get into that masculine energy when we're provoked. It's not something that... <laughs> <laughs> that we want to be in nobody wants to be in the opposite energy of what they come naturally as something that you're provoked to be in right and if it's the other way around here uh where a masculine is like overly masculine um like they're they're doing too much they're <laughs> demanding here they think you should just like go along with what they're doing here you ever had a masculine tell you like just let me take lead let me <laughs> let me let me do this let me do that and you like take lead on what steven uh, take take lead on what <laughs> if you ain't got your life together you ain't got your finances together you can't lead anything here but they they still want to be that leader they still see themselves with that masculine energy so take it as it resonates here somebody feels like you're being controlling okay um you have the control and they might not like that, Virgo. If this is a masculine and you have the control of this situation, ooh, baby. <laughs> They're having a tough time dealing with that. The sun card. And the king of cups in the reverse here, okay? So with this sun card, Virgo, I feel like you, the energy between you two is very clear here with the sun card. I feel like you both want to be positive. Um, I feel like you both want to succeed here. But with the king of cups, with the energy between you two, um, you both feel like you're manipulating each other. You both feel like they are deceitful. Both of you feel like y'all are selfish. Both of you feel like you're emotionally abusive here. Point back period. Y'all both are like, there that is again, the mirroring, air, the mirroring energy. Say that 10 times fast. Okay. Um, somebody may feel like, the uh, both of y'all are both being selfish y'all both are manipulating the situation y'all both might be lying here um so yeah y'all both see each other in the same way here y'all both are having the same feelings about each other and um this is what it is this is their message towards you Virgo. they still want to heal things they still want to reach out they still want to come if you let them if you give them time they'll give you equal give and take here virgo but they need to get their mind right they need to get their money right they need to get their life right right now and they feel like you guys need to be working together instead of both having that control selfish self uh self-entitled energy and you may not feel like you have this energy virgo but this is just from their standpoint okay this is just from their standpoint and let's get one more card here i just heard get a different deck okay how does this person truly feel about virgo at this time how does this person truly feel about virgo at this time protected or divine intervention guardian angels and shielding they feel like you got um protection all right um they feel like you their divine is definitely intervening here uh, like i said dedicated to spirit and a rapport with spirit they feel like ancestors and guides have their hands all over this okay they could be shielding this um this person feels pain okay it feels like you're putting up a wall and it's excruciating they may feel like uh god is putting up a wall too they may feel like this is punishment injustice legal matter court visits legal paper and divorce here yeah like i said separation <laughs> and then we have escape pushing away trigger you trigger them by doing this virgo 
And there's that sexual energy that I was getting. Uncontrollable desires, appetite for sex, insatiable hunger for pleasure, and then running away and cutting off. Okay, so yeah. I feel like Virgo, how they really feel about you is that... They feel like spirit has a has a play in this too. And that's even more painful. They may feel like this is their justice. Alright, that this is their karma. Um... They also may feel like, uh, feel pain that you guys broke up, that you may have to take things to court, that there may have to be legal uh, repercussions of their actions here. But they, I just feel like this is like overall energy of somebody feeling like they're getting karma. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I got here for the Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.